Welcome to Weenie Hut General. What can I help you with? You're not feeling too good. Oh, that's sad. I feel really sad right now. Don't worry. At Weenie Hut General, we help weenies like you feel better though. So, right now, I'm just going to be performing a few tests for you. So, the first one we're going to be doing is probably going to be a blood test just to determine how much weenie you have in your blood. And then, once we determine that, then we can kind of see where exactly we can help you and how we can help you because every weenie is different and every weenie needs different medical procedures let upon them on their sensitivity level. And then, I'm going to examine your eyes. I'm going to do a quick check of your eyes and then I'm going to see how well you can see so that way we can determine what exactly you're going to be needing when it comes to your eye need because of course you need to see whatever we need to do for you like for example if we per give you some prescription even though sometimes prescriptions can be like you know really upsetting so it's like we try not to give up too many prescriptions here because it's you know it's like you know it's, it's, it's against weaning policy but if we decide that you are not weaning enough for the for the you know prescription then you know you need to see the label on the bottle otherwise you know what who knows what you'll be taking after that and then after we give you that, I'm going to be performing a little bit of, um, what's the other thing that I need to do? I forget sometimes. Hmm. We'll see, it'll come to me now. The first thing I told you I was going to be needing to do to you is to take a little bit of a blood drop before. Let me just kind of get these equipment set up nice and sweet and whatnot here. Let me just get the needle prepared. Let me get it all steamed up so that way it goes into your, you know, little... Your little precious arm right here, very smoothly, because I don't want it to kind of, you know, stab you immediately. I want it to kind of go in like very nice and smooth, and just that way it doesn't hurt you as much. Because you know, like for example, with this little demonstration needle that we like to show patients, you see, it's not as long as normal needles usually are, and it's very, you know, very, very. I don't want to say sharp because sharp is not a nice word that we use here. We need. We need a general, so I try to avoid using like you know those sort of like you know buzzwords. But otherwise, um, we're going to be using this to kind of withdraw some of the blood, just a little bit of blood, just a little bit. And I think I might do a little finger prick on you as well, just to make sure that all the blood is the same. You know, like yes, I did go to medical school. I went to two months of medical school, so I'm a doctor or a nurse, but like, you know, whatever, like, aren't nurses the same thing as doctors? Like, you know, it's like, whatever. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of a finger prick on you, just to make sure that the blood in your fingers is the same thing as the blood in your arms, and then after I do that, I'm going to be withdrawing some blood out of your arms, and once again, I'm gonna start heating up the little needle beneath the lamp over there. So I'm gonna just put it over here, right there beneath the warmth of the lamp, and then after I put the warmth of the lamp of the needle of there, whatever into your arm then you're going to feel i know whatever's not nice because it's like you know like it kind of sounds sarcastic and sarcasm is not allowed here it's not nice for the patients because the patients often feel like you know it's like oh, it hurts their feelings and it's like we don't want to hurt your feelings here it's like no nonetheless we're going to be doing that but before i do i want to collect some information from you okay i hope you don't mind is it okay if we collect some information from you some weenies don't like it when we collect information from them so they tend to you know like feel a little bit upset about that they're like how come how come you need my information and i'm like i'm so sorry you weenie i dr i didn't know that you would get offended over that i didn't mean to so i'm going to be collecting some information from you is that okay okay that's so great so now we can tell that you're not that much of a weenie um i hope we're not that you're not too much of a nut weenie because if you're too much of a nut weenie then you belong at the regular hospital you know in the general hospital but here, this hospital is reserved for weenies. That's what we're called, Weenie Hut General. Now, let me just start collecting some information about you. Just some regular old information regarding everything that you need to have information collected upon. too fast for you? Okay, I'll, I'll slow down for you, you weenie. Okay. Is that better, weenie? Okay. 
just wanted to make sure I do not want to upset the weenie. So there we go, a little slower, okay. Just a little bit slower, just to make sure that you feel better, because we want to make sure that you feel good here at Weenie Hug General. Do not worry. There we go, I know my belly keeps making sounds. My belly is a weenie. I'm a weenie inside and out. Now, there we go. Okay, now a little bit of tapping with the finger pads. Okay, okay, okay. No more nails. Nails are mean. They get hurt and scratch and whatnot. And weenies don't like getting scratched. So, just a little bit of finger action. There we go. Mm -hmm. Here at Weenie Hut General, everyone is special. So, let's go to a nice little special, special page for you. I know my tongue kind of tripped over again and again, but you know, it's a, my tongue is a weenie. So, let's go to a nice little clean page for you. A nice little weenie-tastic page for you. And let's just find one here. We have a lot of weenies in the world, but it's okay. That makes the light more special. Since we're all special. How do you feel right now? I just wanted to check up and make sure that you feel... I know my stomach keeps talking. Are you sure that you feel really special? Do you need anything? Any pillows? Any blankets? Anything like that? Maybe a little later. I'll tell the doctor to maybe give you some pillows and blankets for when he's taking care of you and making sure that, you know, you are all taken care of and make sure that you have, like, you know, a nice little warmer for your forehead. People like having a little warm blanket regardless of if they have a fever or are sick or not. And then that you have, like, you know, blankets and, like, pillows behind your back supporting your lumbar. And then, you know, blankets to kind of keep you all cozy and warm and whatnot. So I'll make sure that the doctor gets all of those, you know, little details in my little report here. Don't worry. Let me actually, let me just write that down right now. Let me just get a pen. I want, um, hmm, that's okay. Which one's a weenie-tastic pen? I'll use this one. Blue. Even though it's not a weenie-tastic pen, but you know, it'll do, it'll do. So, let me just write it down. Pillows. Blankets. Heat warmer. So the doctor can know what to get you and what not to get you. Mm -hmm. So, now, back to the, back to, I know, it's capped, but it's because we don't want to hurt the page, because otherwise, Otherwise, it'll, if we mark the page, it won't be weenie-tastic because it's like having, like, you know, giving a page a tattoo. And it's like, you can't give a page a tattoo. Like, tattoos are for not weenies. Like, if you wanted to not be a weenie, you could go to the normal general hospital. But if you have a tattoo and you're here, it's like, what are you doing here? You know, you're not weenie enough for the weenie in general. So, let's see. Now, let me collect a little bit of information for you. What is your name? Okay. Perfect. What a weenie-tastic name. What is your age? Mm-hmm. No, you're never too old to be a weenie. In fact, the older you get, the more weenie you get sometimes. So, just remember that that is a life lesson. So, now, um, hmm. What, do you have any previous medical or present medical conditions, any prescriptions you're currently on, or any mental or physical defects that you could possibly be suffering from right now. Yes, list them all, please. I know, I'm so sorry, that was too much of a request. I shouldn't have just asked you to list out your medical conditions at a medical office. It was too much. I'm so sorry. Is it okay now? Are you okay now? Okay. Can you list out, please? Could you please list out? Please list them out. Please list out the medical Please. Please. Okay. Please. Just. Okay. Mm. Mm. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. Okay. Okay.
bathroom. And prior to you visiting us, were you visiting any other hospital? Who was your general practitioner? your life insurance do you have life insurance no well that's okay here here money is too weeny for us we don't take money here it's it's not weeny enough for us we're like no no money that's not weeny enough for us we don't like money here we're like no ew go away with the money go away no money here no money here I mean, we don't like money at least yeah yeah no money it's not weeny enough for us, but now I have to inspect your weeniness. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to be cleaning off this magnifying glass a little bit because it does seem to be having a little couple of scratches here and there. And then after I'm done cleaning this off, I'm going to inspect your weeniness a little bit on your face. I'm going to inspect your face and neck area for weeniness because I need to make sure that you are truly a weenie and like, you know, determine what qualities in your face that don't, you know, set you apart as a weenie. So, let me just clean this off. So here, I'm going to be inspecting your face a little bit, just to make sure that you are weenie enough for us. I know, I look lovely, don't I? I'm so weenie. Now, weenie. Now, let's see. Wow, okay, let me look into this eye. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you're really weeny enough, so, mm -hmm. You seem pretty weeny right now. Yes. And then let me look into this eye, into the other eye. Hmm, you look really weeny right there. Now let me look inside your nose. Huh, the weeniness is very noticeable inside your nose. In fact, I can see up to your brain and notice how weeny your brain is. It's very pink and splotchy. Very nice, very nice, pink and soft, the way we like it here at Weenie Hut General. Perfect candidate, so far, perfect candidate. Now open up your mouth, please. Open up wide, like, ah, uh, mm -hmm. but like even bigger, please. Even bigger. Oh, you, you can't, bigger. Oh, no. Uh, it's not about how big it is. It's if I can see it correctly, so. Just open, is that, okay, well, with that don't worry we'll work with the smallness okay so let's see let's see just a little bit okay let me use my little light just to like inspect a little bit closer into your mouth okay okay so i'm just going to be using my light a little bit here just to inspect your mouth a little closer okay perfect all righty then mm -hmm. okay okay your mouth looks so pink and splotchy and soft. What a perfectly weenie mouth. I bet you get a lot of weenie compliments in your mouth. You do? Oh, it looks per It looks weenie-tastic. There we go. Oh, yes. You look very, very nice. Okay, everything's very weenie about you. Okay? Your nose is weenie. Your eyes are weenie. Your mouth is weenie. Actually, let me just inspect your ears for a quick second. I just want to make sure that your ears are very weeny too. So, let me see. I'm just going to be inspecting this ear first very quickly. Just to make sure it's up to par with the rest of your weeniness. And it is. Okay. Now let me just quickly inspect this other ear for you. Just want to make sure that it is weeny-tastic as well. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And it is weeny-tastic. Okay. Your entirety is... Actually, let me inspect your neck. I won't be needing the light for this one. I'll just inspect your neck really quickly. Would you mind tilting your head up, please? Yeah, just a little bit up, please. A little bit higher than that. There we go. Let me just inspect your neck a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Your neck is really thin and small. Very weenie-tastic. Lovely. Very weenie-like. In fact, it's so weenie. It's like, wow. What a weenie, weenie neck. Very weeny. Okay, perfect, perfect. But let me just put the magnifying glass over here. Now, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be conducting, um, here, I think the needle is perfectly ready for you now, so I'm just going to put the, would you mind 
stretching out your arm, please. I'm going to be um, stabbing your arm. I'm so sorry. That's not nice to say. I won't be stabbing your arm. I will be kissing your arm with a needle inside of it. It'll be, I will be French kissing your arm with a needle. Yes, that's a better way of putting it. Very nice, very nice, very cute, very weeny. So, would you mind stretching out your arm a little bit and then pumping your fist like this to kind of get the blood flowing? No, not the blood, the life water. Um, no, that's also kind of a bit serious and scary. Um, how about the fun juice? No, that's something else. Um, how about the, um, the, um, 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 love, inner love potion? Yes, okay, the inner love potion. Let's get the inner love potion pumping. There we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Actually, let me just tie something around it. Where is my... Okay, here we go. I'm just going to tie this around it. So, I'm going to tie this around it. Once again, keep pumping, keep pumping. Like this. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm just going to be injecting this needle into your arm. Just to brace yourself a little bit, please. There we go. Okay, so while that starts collecting your... Actually, let me just tap it a little bit just to make sure. Okay. The blood is collecting, so as that's collecting your blood... I'm going to be pricking your finger. So, take out your finger like this. Yeah, the same one, same one. I want to make sure that it's all the same. So, take out your finger like this. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to be puncturing your little here. Not puncturing, French kissing the tip of your finger with the tip of my needle. Not needle, I mean, um, pretty metal. So. So here we go. I know my stomach keeps wanting to get into the conversation. So, one, two, poke. One, two, poke. I'm going to do it for each of your fingers. One, two, poke. One, two, poke. One, two, poke. Poke, 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 kissed your hand with my needle with my fun metal all over I am a little bit of a sadistic weenie but you know it's okay so um let me just see how this is going along okay let me just take out another little vial I'm gonna replace that vial with this vial and just have that continue going um would you like any beverages please any beverages? Yes, please, because I'm a weenie, so I'm going to say please all the time. So, like, would you like any beverages? Look, it's in the shape of a little cute sea animal, see? Would you like some? It's green tea mixed with milk and coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. We're too weenie to have the real sugar, so we try coconut sugar instead. And we're too weenie to drink green tea on its own, because it's, like, you know, too strong. So, we drink it with milk. Would you like some? It's very delicious, I assure you. Mm -hmm. I'll have a sip. Perfectly weeny. So, as that vial is drawing blood, I'm going to be testing the blood pressure on your other arm. So, keep very still. I'm going to be measuring the blood pressure by taking this part of your wrist and then counting out the beats by the second. So. Let me just warm my hands so that we don't get cold hands touching your wrist. And once again, let me just try this again. So let me see your wrist. Thank you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four.
your blood pressure is perfectly weenie-tastic, so you're good with the pr pressure on your, what was that, your left arm. So let me just change up the vials in your blood again, just to make sure that we get a good diagnosis of how weenie you are. Okay, there we go. Still, we're getting plenty of blood from you, so it's okay. So now, what I'm going to do, I know there's no glasses in my um, glasses, because glasses are not nice. You know, they could fall into your eye and, you know, completely blind you, and that's not good. So, speaking of blinding, I'm going to be running your eye test now, so, yeah. Um, first, let's check um, the health of your eyes. So, I'm going to need you to follow my finger now. So, follow this part of my finger, the very tippity-top. It's the tippity-top of my finger, the tippity-tippity-top, top, top, tippity-top, top, tippity-tippity-top, top of my finger. Wherever it goes, do not move your head. Just follow your your eyes. Have them follow my weenie-tastic finger. Okay, okay, so follow it around, so I'm gonna go really slow, I don't wanna go fast sometimes weenies can't keep up with this pace so I'm gonna go really slow for you and just follow my finger and I'm just gonna look at your eyes to make sure that everything is going smoothly, which it is don't worry okay. And then the other side. To the other side. I know that one was kind of bad. Let's go really slow now. Okay. For this one, we're going to be using both hands, and what we're going to be doing with both the hands is I'm going to be wiggling one of my fingers around you, and you tell me which one is wiggling between left and right. Once again, don't move your head, just use your vision, so your weenie-tastic vision. So let me see. I'm going to go, actually, let's start off easy. So I'm going to be holding both my hands like this, and you tell me which finger Wiggly. Ready? Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Changing it up a little bit. a really fast change and it was the same thing but I'm so sorry. Here, let me just make it a little more easy for you. Okay. 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 Perfect. Was that too difficult for you? I noticed that it wasn't. Okay, it was easy. Okay. Just making sure I don't want to offend your weenie feelings. So, let's do this. Actually, let me inspect your eyes and see how they dilate. If my light will work again. No, my weenie flashlight's not working because it's a weenie. Here. Let me just... Hmm. The weenie flashlight's not working. Guess we can't inspect your eyes now. Oh. And I was looking forward to inspecting your eyes. This is so sad. How will I ever get over this tragedy? I don't know. My weenie flashlight hurts my weenie feelings because it's not working because the weenie light won't work with the weenie flash. Hmm. So. Instead, what we're going to do is just do a little bit of a vision test. So. I'm going to be doing this test real quickly and you're going to tell me how far down you can see and then based on this result, actually let me quickly change the vial on your blood because I'm not, that was a little too much blood I am so sorry, my weenie feelings got in the way of my weenie job so 
Let me just change out the file. Fourth file, last file. So we'll wait on that to kind of fill up. So we're going to start a weenie eye test on you. And depending on your weenie results, I'll write down your weenie results in my weenie journal. And then we'll see how you've done so far. And then depending on this, I will send all of my records and collected information, all of my collected weenie information to the weenie doctor. Okay? Okay. Can you tell me, are you ready for the test? Okay. So tell me, what letter is this? Can you see it? You can? Good job. Okay. What letters are these? Can you see it? You can. Okay. What letters are these? Okay. Good job. Sometimes people don't see that and they're like, whoa, but that doesn't mean they're ultra, well, it does mean that they're ultra weenies. So what letters are these? Okay, wow, you totally have good vision for a weenie. Here, what letters are these? Okay, mm-hmm. What about these? These are, these are hard. Can you see these letters? What's this one? What's this one? What's this one? And this one? And this one? And this one? <gasps> good job. And then what letter is this? Mm-hmm. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Good job, you're doing so good for a weenie. What about this? And this. What about this? And this one, and this one, and this one. You have pretty good eyesight for a weenie. Can you see this row? No. Yeah, this is usually the no-go for weenies. This is the no zone. So, nonetheless, you've done great for a weenie. You did a really good job. Good on your weenie results. So let me just write down your weenie results back in the little book that I had for you. That little special page we made for you. I'm going to be writing your results there. Your weenie results in the weenie page we made for you in my weenie journal. So let's see. Good blood pressure. Good focus. Good eyesight. Made it to weenie. Ultra, so, okay. Now let me just change out the vial on your blood. We have all the vials we needed. Now let me just quickly but softly and sweetly and gently take out the needle from your arm. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Now let me just put the needle there. We'll throw that one away because it's dirty to keep used needles. And let me just wrap that very quickly. My stomach is upset as well over you having to go through this boo-boo. And then, there we go. Okay. And you are... Okay, so put some pressure on that. I will be returning with some bandages for you. And then I will also be delivering this information to the weenie doctor. Okay? Okay, so just stay here. I'll come back with the bandages. And then I'll also come back with the doctor. And he will know all of your weenie results. Okay. I won't take too long. I promise. Hello, I'm the weenie doctor. I heard that you're not feeling very well. Do you know what you might have? No, that's why you're at the doctor's. Very smart. You're a smart weenie. Very smart. Here, let me just, before we get started, I'm going to put on my gloves because I want to make sure that our germs, like our weenie germs, don't touch each other. I don't want to touch your weenie germs and I don't want you to touch my weenie germs because germs are mean and they hurt people. So I'm just going to put on my weenie gloves. They're not medical gloves. Medical gloves are kind of serious and, you know, they're kind of like, it's like, who's bleeding? So, like, I prefer these because it's like winter and, you know, snow, snowmen, children, Christmassy. It's oh, so nice. I can feel the sweetness in the air. Nutmeg, cinnamon. Ah, oh, splendid. 
I'm not gonna put them the same. It's not the same. Why would you want them to be the same? They are not. Every glove should be loved, no matter what partner they have. My gloves are swingers. They do what they want. Now that I have my gloves on, I did hear from my nurse that you requested some warmth. Okay, so let me just get you the supplies that you requested. I'm going to be putting this head wrap on your head. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to be softly putting this head wrap around your head, just like that. Tying it around there. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you're, it's a little too much for you. Is it nice and snug? Mm -hmm. Okay, just a little bit of a head massage just to get the blood flowing in your brain, in your weenie brain. I heard it's really soft and pink. And it's like, that's exactly what we like here in the weenie general, weenie general. There we go. Perfect. Now, I also did bring you a blanket, so I'm just going to be putting this on top of you, too. It's matte, it's brown, it matches your head wrap, too. I would have brought pink or pastel blue or, you know, purple, lavender, rather, lilac, uh, periwinkle blue, dolly pink, but we didn't have those colors because we ran out. I'm so sorry. Do you forgive me? You do? Thank you. So instead, I got you this blanket. It's very soft and cuddly like all the other blankets. It's like really nice and it's nice to snuggle with. So it's like, yeah, so here's your blanket. And um, he yes, I did go to medical school, 12, 12 whole minutes. So here we go. I'm just gonna be putting this blanket all over you. Just like that. There we go. Just nice and snug. Snug as a bug. There we go. Now I'll just grab my materials though. Thank you. There we go. So I'm just gonna be... Let me just wrap it a little bit around you a little better. Just to make sure that it's all onto your side. There we go. And now I did bring an assortment of pillows for you as well. These are gonna be quite numerous because everyone loves sleeping with several, 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 several pillows. So here is one pillow. Notice how nice and smooth the fabric is. It's very nice, very smooth, very whatever. So I know whatever's not a nice word. So here we go. I'm just gonna put this. Would you mind sitting up a little closer, please? Thank you. I'm just gonna be putting this right behind you. Just right behind you. Perfect. And now I'm just going to be putting this nice soft one too. It's felt and pleated and everything. So yeah, I'm going to be putting this nice soft pillow on your side. Which side do you prefer? Are you more of a right or left side sleeper? Which side hurts the most? Which side would you just prefer to have a little bit elevated or cushioned? My stomach also wants to join the conversation. Okay, I'll put it on this side then. So raise your arm a little bit. Perfect. I'm just going to be putting this right there. Right there. Perfect. Okay. And now for this little tiny one. This one's for your neck. So I'm going to be putting this, this little pillow behind your head. So just lift up your head again. Just lift it up a little bit. Okay. And there we go. So you're all settled now. For the first test we're going to be conducting, I'm going to be finishing the nurse's job since she couldn't get the light to work, but guess what? It works now, so I'm just going to be checking your eyes a little bit. I know, I apologize. I should have given you a warning that I was going to be doing this. Are you ready? I'm sorry, did I blind your weenie eyes? No. Good, 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 good. So let me just check your eyes a little bit. Okay. I know I'm blasting you right in the eye, aren't I? And now for your other eye just to make sure that this one is just up to par with this one. Okay. Now follow the light around. I'll go really slow for you, don't worry. Okay. Don't move your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now going up. And then down. Okay. Great results, great results. 
now. Let me just give you a further little inspection of my medical equipment that the nurse has not been equipped with. So I'm just gonna open up my little bag first. There's some weenie ears here that do not want to hear your loudness. God, people are so rude. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, let me just connect the bottom one. Mm-hmm. Okay, go in. There we go. Yes, it fit. Oh, it's in. So, I'm going to be listening to your heart. So, just give me one moment. I'm just going to... Make sure that it's not too cold for you because we want to make sure that you're very comfortable. So I'm going to be listening to your heart really quickly. So let me just give me a couple of seconds. I'm going to give it a good... Stop moving. I'm going to give it a good couple of seconds. So a good 20 seconds for each position. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is done. So. Now for the next position on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You're doing excellent so far. Now I'm just going to check your back. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to need you to lift your back up a little bit quickly. My ears are falling out. Yes, too late. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. I'm just going to do it this way. Yes, perfect. Now I'm just going to like, okay, I'm just going to like hear your back now. So give me one moment to get there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna listen to the other one, so give me one moment. Other side, lift your back. There we go. Please lift your back, please. There we go. Okay. Okay, I can see from my results that you are doing excellent when it comes to your breathing and when it comes to your heart and when it comes to everything. So you're, you checked out perfectly, perfectly, perfectly weenie. You're a perfect weenie so far, so let me just, there we go. Now, we're going to be checking out right now is your reflexes. I just want to make sure that your reflexes are okay, so I'm going to be using this little, little, bumpy thingy and I'm just going to be checking your little reflexes I'm just going to be checking your knees first so would you mind um, lowering your knees just let it rest just let it rest I'm just going to give it a little tap just a little little tap okay just a okay. one more time okay perfect now I'm going to be giving your knee the other one a little knock too a little weenie knock for your weenie knee okay so okay good 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 okay so Now I'm going to be doing the same for your elbow, so stretch out your elbow or your arm like this. Perfect, you get the idea. 
There we go. Just gonna give it a little bit of a... Okay, one more time. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna do the same for the other's arm. Okay, ready? Okay, just gonna give this one a little bit of a knock, so... Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to be checking the reflexes in your face. So, I'm gonna need you to just hang your draw a little bit. Perfect, okay, let me just give it a little bit of a... Okay, one more time. Okay. Now I'm gonna be checking the reflexes in your nose, so just rest your nose a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a tap, so. Okay, one more time. Okay. Now I'm gonna be checking the reflexes in your ears, so let me just grab your ears really quickly, just a little bit. There we go. And then, one more time. There we go. Now for the other ear. I'm just going to be grabbing this ear and I'm going to check the reflexes on this ear. So let me just rush it so that way it's a little bit ready to the touch. And okay. Oh, was that too loud? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry today I hit you too hard. And I'll do little weenie taps. Okay, so there we go. Are you okay now? Is your weeniness calm down? Okay. Now I'm going to be doing the test finally on your eyeball, so open up your eyes wide mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna do a little tap on your eyeballs to check your reflexes, okay? Ready? Okay. One, two, and... I'm sorry, I didn't give you a warning that time. Let me give you another warning. One, two, and... Okay. And now for the other eyes, so... One, Two and one, two and your reflexes are checking out perfectly. So let me just jot this down in my notes. I just want to make sure that I have everything perfectly organized. Let me just get my pen. Actually, where's your special mini page? I need to find your special mini page because if I don't have your special mini page, then everything gets disorganized and all the weenies get upset and you don't want the weenies to get upset because then you know, who knows what a weenie will do except for something weenie. So let's just get this done and report it. Okay. Also to tell you the results of your blood test because we did already get the results back from your blood test. We did get four vials. One weenie vial, two weenie vial, three weenie vial, four weenie vials of your weenie blood. And let me tell you that actually you collect the results exactly. It can give you a really good result as to when we got. So according to your weenie results, you are 90% weenie, 10% plankton, and also 50% sea and 50% weed. Um, we don't really know what the weed accounts for. We know that your species is plankton, so we can understand that 10% of it comes from that, but considering how much of a weenie you are, it is 90% weenie, and then 50% sea, because, you know, like, you know, we're all made out of water, so it's like 50% water, even though it's very unhealthy. But 50% weed, I guess all the water that you should be drinking is coming in from the weed. But, um, I, I just, I don't want to think that a weenie is, you know, 
you know, just like, you know, like having like some 420 fun, but like, you know, like, if it, that's the case, then I don't know how much of a weenie you are. Like, well, actually, no, that, that could mean that you're a, a pretty big weenie. Like, do you talk about, you know, the, 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 those, those seaweed, let's call it the seaweed, a lot? Do you, do you, do you talk about the seaweed a lot? Like, all the time? Like, is it like something that you say, like, blaze it for 20, 24, 7? Okay, you are indefinitely a weenie then. Um, let me just put your results there. You are perfectly well accepted at this weenie hut general for your weeniness. So, let's continue on with your examination. Your examination. Because you need to be examined. So, let me grab the next thing in our box to examine you a bit. Since you're only 50% water, that your skin is quite um, healthy and moisturized and whatnot. Because if you're only 50% water, that could be the reason why you're so sick. Because you're supposed to be, I think, 70 or 80% water, and you're only at 50. So that's a big, that's a big dramatic, you know, shift. So I'm just going to be checking your skin a little bit, especially around your eyes, since your eyes are a very delicate area for, you know, water and. If you're making bad decisions, it'll reflect beneath your eye bags. That is what the goddess Rihanna said in her Vogue interview. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna be checking it there a little bit. Just a little bit. are not weenie. <sighs> no. Telephones hurt my weenie feelings. They're always like, hello, and I'm like, no. Why did you hurt my weenie ears? You're not supposed to be calling the weenie a general. When did we get telephones? I told the nurses not to get the telephones. I was like, no, they're not weenie enough. They're gonna startle all the weenies. The weenies are gonna be like, um, excuse me, um, that, that hurt my ears, and I'm gonna be like, I'm so sorry, weenies. I was trying to be soft, but you did not handle the loudness, because you're such a weenie. Is it gone? I am so sorry. Please forgive it. Please forgive the, the hospital. It's not their fault. It's mine. It's my weenie fault. Thank you. Now let's continue checking your weeniness. Get your weenie skin around your eyes to make sure that your the eyes really do reflect your health. So there we go. Okay. I can see you've been making very bad decisions, very poor decisions, very weenie-like decisions, not going to sleep early, drinking. check the other eye now. So I'm going to be checking the other eye now. Okay. 
but your skin is really telling me that you're not drinking enough water. You should drink more water. Your skin would love you for it. Your weenie skin will become, have like this weenie glow to it if you start drinking more weenie water. It doesn't have to be like the normal strong mean water. It just has to be the weenie water if you so choose to. What's the weenie water? It's mineral water. There we go. And you should also go on a, you should also consider going on a weenie diet. That way you can also kind of clear up your skin and everything. What's the weenie diet? Have you heard of veganism? Yes. The weenie. Go on a vegan gluten-free diet and you'll be on the weenie diet, okay? Your skin is looking so far good. Let me just check your cheeks a little bit. Okay, your cheeks are doing okay. And let me check your other cheek a little bit. Okay. Cheeks are doing okay. Your forehead a little bit. Just to kind of glaze it across. Glaze it across. And now the other way. Okay. So your skin is doing excellent that way. Now what I'm going to be doing is noting down my observations. Actually, let me just check your neck to see how, how wrinkled your neck is to Yes, you have a very dry neck. Very dry. Okay. okay. Please and thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't, did, did, I didn't say please first. I'm so sorry. Do you forgive my weeniness? Thank you. There we go. your report has been filed and everything has been processed and everything whatnot, you know, like, you know, like, whatever. I can confidently, oh, my, my weenie pet tap, tap just dropped onto my weenie lap and it gave me a weenie slap and it kind of made me weenie laugh, but like, no, it actually hurt my weenie feelings. I know I'm a poet, so. 
I can confidently say that the reason you're feeling sick right now is because you're not drinking enough water. So, I have a bottle of water right here. Let me remove the wrapper. Ah, curse these weenie gloves. I'm so sorry. I don't need to curse you. It was a weenie curse. So, here we go. Let me just remove this weenie gloves. To remove this weenie wrapper. up the weenie wrapper. And now, I'm going to need you to drink some of this weenie water. It's not weenie weenie water because there's no minerals in it and I'm so sorry. For we had weenie water right now, but we don't have water right now. Do you forgive me? Am I weaning this? Okay, you too. Okay. So, we have some weenie water, and I'm gonna give it to you right now. So, here we go. And, um, now that you have your weenie water and we have the results, just drink more water, okay? That's all you need to do. Drink more water and your weeniness, your, your weenie hurt feelings will go away, okay? Okay, I hit myself I'm too aggressively. I need to be softer with my weenie self. It hurts my weenie skin and my weenie skin will hurt my weenie feelings and my weenie feelings will make me feel better. So, now that your assessment is done, I'm going to give you some weenie candy, okay? Okay, just because you did so good in your doctor checkup. I'm going to be giving you some candy so that way you feel a lot better. In fact, I'm going to be giving you an option. Would you rather have this weenie candy or this weenie candy? Yes, this one has caramel in it and this one's pure sugar because you're a sweet person. Mm -hmm. Would you like this one or this one? This one. This one. And this one. This one. And this one. You would rather have this one? Okay. So, here is yours. Don't touch me. There we go. Don't touch me. There we, don't touch me. There we go. Eat that one. You can eat it here or over there. And I'll eat this one because you didn't choose this one. This one's mine now. Okay. Let me just open this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let me just open this up. And now, oh. Now that you're done with your weenie doctor assessment and you have your weenie candy and you have your weenie results and you have your weenie medicine right now, you're free to go. No, I don't want you to leave. I didn't mean it like that. I meant like you're, you're okay now, so you can go back to your weenie home now, okay? Okay, have a weenie time at, you know, your weenie home and I hope you had a pleasant stay at Weenie Hut General. <laughs>